So what's going on guys welcome back to another Redmi Note 5 Pro video and in today's video we are going to be converting our Redmi Note 5 Pro into a complete Pixel 2 XL. Well this ROM was one of my dreams while buying this phone because actually look at it. Without the bottom speaker it just completely looks like a Pixel 2 XL from the front because it has like the massive bezels like bigger than the Galaxy A8. So yeah let's just make it and the prerequisites over here are a little bit of brain a custom TWRP recovery and an unlocked bootloader of course in order to work that. So you can actually find many videos on that and I'm not going to waste any more time in just explaining everything. We would just get right into the installation. So let's just first of all go to the recovery by pressing volume up and the power at the same time. So as this is not an official or unofficial ROM, we are actually getting this via treble. Yes, as Redmi Note 5 Pro has it in the latest official Oreo update. So yeah, that is also recommended. But if it's perfect, it isn't Xiaomi. So if you use actually the normal treble from the official MIUI update, couple of sensors and brightness will be broken. So we are actually using Moki ROM for vendor images, which is just working perfect on our Redmi Note 5 Pro. And let's just begin. So first of all, you have to just go to wipe, advanced wipe, dial with catch, data, system and vendor. Just completely wipe those. Swipe to wipe, done. Go to install, scroll down. You have to find the Moki ROM, confirm to flash. This will take around a minute. So the first step is done. You have to not actually reboot your system. Go to home again, go to wipe, advanced wipe again, yes. And you have to just wipe the system. Swipe to wipe, not the vendor this time. Go home, go to install, and you have to now select install image. Scroll down, there you go, pixel experience, tap it, and install it as a system image. Confirm to flash and there you go. That is the actual ROM. Now, one of the drawbacks of using this ROM is no Volti. Yes, you can't actually get Volti working on the treble ROM for almost any device. So yeah, if you are one of that population who uses a different SIM, not a Geo SIM, you can actually use Geo 4G voice app or incoming calls are always free. And now you have to just reboot the system right away. Reboot system, do not install and the phone will do everything itself. And just after a minute, our phone is back up. Now, I'm extremely sorry for the brightness, but you can't actually control it into the setup. So let's just uh, quickly get this. And there you go. You have successfully booted Pixel Experience on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now, as you can see, the wallpaper is looking a bit weird because it's using the Moki vendor files, but there is also no nav bar. Now, in order to enable it, you have to just go to settings, system, buttons, and there is no actual way to enable it, but you have to just go to navigation bar and just make any kind of change like none. There you go, it just pops up. And then you have to just get another things like live wallpaper and camera. Well, live wallpaper doesn't actually work good on latest Xiaomi phones such as MI1 or the Redmi Note 5 Pro. I guess it's a kernel issue, but it pretty much works great on the Redmi Note 5 Pro because of the performance. So let's just go ahead and install it. Go to the internal storage through over here. Now let's just check whether the wallpapers are working or not. These are the normal Pixel 2 wallpapers. Here you go. Okay, there are all the live wallpapers as you can see. Let's just uh, try this beach one. This is one of my favorite ones. Set the wallpaper and there you go. There are the waves working over there and it uh, lags for one to two seconds and then it's okay as you can see. Pretty nice touch. And in order to get the camera working, you can't just literally install it and it will work. It needs camera API too. Now in order to install that on treble, you will need a PC. So let's just hop on one. Once you're onto your PC, you have to just grab your Redmi Note 5 Pro and just turn it off. Just like that, shutting down. Hold on to your volume up and power just like before to end up the two up. And you have to just basically touch nothing over here. You have to connect your phone to the PC. And then you have to just download the ADB folder, which I will give a link in the description. It won't have this much files, but it will have all the needed files. And then you have to just open the file called CMD. In over here, you have to just type in ADB devices in order to check whether the phone has been connected or not. As you can see, list of devices attached. Then you have to just type in ADB shell and then you have to just copy a command from the description and just right click it over here just like this. Hit enter and you're basically done. The Pixel 2 camera has been activated and then you can just sell your PC on eBay. Doesn't matter. And now when your phone is back up again, you can go ahead and disable the stock camera that you get. As you can see, it has literally nothing. So go to app info, disable. We don't need that cause now our Pixel 2 camera is fully working. They just boot it up as you can see fully works it's minimal you don't get the extra features from like another ones which crash again and again onto the note 5 pro this is the most stable version that i can find there you go the portrait mode 
works fine for the rear camera let's just switch it to the front there you go just ignore my hair and then it also has some of the features such as if you go to the settings you can enable motion then again fixes for both cameras hdr correction and just bunch of stuff which is just normally into the pixel 2 cameras and then you can just uh, fix it right over here and now let's just explore the rom for a bit as it's nothing special it's just stock android 8.1 but a few touches of pixels such as for example you get a completely animated nav bar as you can see looks completely great then again onto the system here there are a few more touches such as for example if you want to edit it there you go you can just uh, tap anything there are some features missing over here such as picture in picture and screenshot mode which is available onto the unofficial roms it will be added as we are running travel you can just update it anyway it doesn't have to be made for redmi note 5 pro and as you can see all the icons are completely circle and there is a pixel 2 blue theme going on going to the settings you get a wide search bar you can set up your pixel 2 right over here going to the display nothing much to be honest you can select your background color light dark and automatic then you have ambient display kind of works like always on display but only when you have notifications you can select your accent colors in various of variety pretty nice touch scrolling down battery battery life is pretty good to be honest it's basically just as same as miui on 9.5 then on the storage you can control various of stuff you can free up your storage automatically just like this system about phone android version 8.1.0 the latest and the greatest officially and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this was a quick little video on how you can turn your redmi note 5 pro into a complete pixel 2 on a software level and thanks for watching see you in the next one peace